Hello, I'm Dr. Ron Lewis, and together with Dr. Graham Stanton, we head up the Your Story Research Project, research that has been examining the spiritual experiences of young Australians. And we're really excited to share some of our research findings with you at the upcoming Converge Oceania conference being held in Melbourne on November 9 to 11 this year. We're really excited to share with you some of the results of this research project. We've had over 400 young Australians complete a survey where they've responded to questions that have described their spiritual journey from childhood all the way through to their present experience. There's frankly nothing like it uh, in Australian research so far, mm -hmm. and we're just starting to scratch the surface on all the research findings that we have available in this data. Let me just show you a couple of things that we've been looking at. The most recent research project that's a bit similar to ours is the Australian Generation Z study. And in that study, they found six groups of young people uh, that have the, a very particular kind of relationship to religion and spirituality. Now, we worked with the researchers with the AGZ to include some of their questions so that we could see what representation our sample had of theirs. We kind of expected that in terms of this group, the This Worldly and Indifferent, we'd have not quite so many of them because we were working with so many Christian groups to gather our data. And so we expected that this group, the nominally religious and the religiously committed, would be much higher. Now, the way, in fact, this panned out is that we did get a reasonable um, jump in the amount of religiously committed. 17% moved to 22% in our sample, while the nominally religious actually declined a little bit, down to 17%. Interestingly, that this worldly count was about the same, but the indifferent was much less, much less, something for us to explore. What was most interesting to us, however, was this thing. SBNR, kind of about the same, a little bit less, but the seekers dramatically more. 8% in AGZ moved to 21% in our sample. Now, that's a really interesting finding for us because it means that Christian groups, Christian schools, Christian churches who are actively engaged and wondering about the discipleship and spiritual pathway that young people are on. Many of our Christian groups, organisations, youth groups and schools are working with people who consider themselves to be spiritual seekers, not yet identifying within the Christian faith, but actively seeking uh, spiritual realities and trying to make up their mind. Now, with the AGZ study, they did what was called a snapshot study, where you are at right at this point in time. Where our study is quite different is that we've act actively tried to understand what's happening over time, how this is changing over time. And so for many of our questions, we asked our, young, our respondents to describe where they were at as a child, where they were at as an early teenager, and where they're at right now. And so we're actually able to track over time how their spiritual experiences, how their spiritual practices, how their commitments, their identification change over time. Now, while we're still analysing this data, it means that we can actually start to look at what is the journey of someone who moves from being a seeker to being religiously committed and what is associated with that. And what about the other direction? Those who are religiously committed who move out of that zone, maybe to being just a seeker, maybe to being normally religious or maybe even being this worldly or indifferent. We're still analysing, we're still buried in the data at the moment and there's lots of it, but we're really interested to see what is behind these spiritual journeys, what is behind and influencing the spiritual experiences of young people and how can we be constructive presence in the lives of young people and their spiritual journeys as they seek to make sense of divine realities. So once again, we're really looking forward to sharing these findings with you at the upcoming Oceania conference. Remember, it's in Melbourne, November 9 to 11, and you can see the registration details here. We'll catch you there.